New tonight, your next trip to the store could make you the victim of not one, but two scams. Law enforcement warning that these crimes are happening locally and involve gift cards and card readers. Our Liberty Zabala spoke with El Cajon Police and joins us live in the East County with a warning. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, I have two gift cards here. One is real and one is fake. Can you spot the difference? Well, we'll tell you what to look out for, and this isn't the only scam that police are warning about. Surveillance video posted on the El Cajon Police Department's social media shows how quickly criminals are able to set up these card skimmers at a register. It's a big loss. Uh, I mean, for months in a row, um, we had, you know, 200 victims a month coming to our station to report the crime. The skimmers record and send your PIN number and the information from the magnetic strip of your credit card to thieves via Bluetooth, stealing your money. If something looks bulky, maybe give it a little tug or ask your cashier to give it a tug and make sure there's not a device on it. And then on top of that, also the retailer um, check in them frequently. El Cajon police recovered 12 card skimmers from stores in the past year alone. I mean, hundreds of thousands of, of dollars in loss over, over the last year. Just in El Cajon, too. I mean, it's happening ev everywhere as well. That's not all. Officers say sophisticated theft rings are also targeting gift cards. And stealing these cards in bulk. They take them home and manipulate the card, write down the card numbers with the PIN numbers associated, and then return them to the store for the consumer to purchase. It's uh, been altered, and you can see that the criminal has placed a card over the actual card you're trying to load, and you're automatically loading his uh, credit card. Officers recommend customers double check serial numbers. They also recommend paying with chipped cards or tap to pay to prevent letting your money slip away. Make sure that the number on the card matches the number on the box. If they're different, there's a chance it's a scam. All right, and so just to let you know, if you guessed right, this was the tampered one and this is the real gift card. And to make sure next time you go to the store and you're purchasing the right kind of gift card, make sure to ask the cashier to get a gift card that has not been put out on the floor for display so that you are making sure that you load the right one and not a criminal's. For now, live here in El Cajon, Liberty Zavala, Fox 5 News.